Hello YouTube, Cool Guy 2002 here. This is my review of Brick Mania's A6M0 World War II Japanese long range fighter. So, this kit was designed by Cody Oso, yet again. He, in my opinion, makes the best planes that Brick Mania has ever put out. Uh, this thing retails for 175 bucks, so it's cheaper than the Spitfire, but more expensive than the BF 109. And that's surprising because I think this is the largest plane out of the three. Um, it contains 390 Lego and Brick Warrior elements. I'll show you that pilot figure in a second. Um, skill level 3 out of 5. Really, really cool looking, awesome plane. Probably my favorite Brick Mania fighter that I own. And so yeah, let's get right into it. So, as you can see, this plane is white. Um, usually, it was more practical for these to be in the dark green variant, which it did a couple years ago, I think. But this is the white uh, color variant. I think this one is what you would have seen in perhaps like Pearl Harbor or in some other facets of the war, not necessarily only there. Um, it comes with these stickers. Oops. Stickers for... Uh, the insignia on the wing, on the top and on the bottom. This uh, printed on both sides, it's printed red circle. And uh, this one on the tail, I added myself, so this one does not come with the kit, keep that in mind. It's a water slide decal, but it is, I think, accurate to what Japanese planes would have had on their tail. I also added this uh, little string to simulate the antenna. Uh, the transmissions cable and I took the liberty to change these uh, white 1x8 uh, tiles to yellow because um, Japanese planes usually had uh, gel yellow stripes on the front of their wings and I'll pull up a picture right here what I tell you so as you can see and like I said before, this plane is white, although in real life, the color is more of a grayish, kind of tannish, almost color. But you know, this is the closest that you can do with Lego. I think it looks just fine. Oh, also worth noting, the props, these are printed, these uh, one by three tiles. And I think these are my favorite props on a Brick Mania airplane. When you spin them up, they look really great. You can get those red stripes going. You can see, that's a really good spin there. They look just fine. Uh, also worth noting, I swapped out a piece inside the nose. Here, there used to be two of these back to back, but once you spun the prop, it would always fall off basically. So I switched this out for a two by two plate. Just left that one on the front because it's essential to the connection. So I would recommend that if you own this kit or plan on getting it, you keep that in mind and modify that. Uh, this nose design is really, really smart because it's hard to make circles in Lego, especially in such a tight space. This is what the plane looks like. I'll give you another angle from the back. Um, you have these machine guns, and you have two on the cowling, but they're not, you know, they couldn't be represented here. Fair enough, you know. They're, uh, these are two 20, 20 millimeter cannons in real life and two 7.7 .7 millimeter machine guns. Uh, they were able to carry two uh, bombs, but they're not included. I guess you can break build them. So yeah, let's move on to the figure. This is the Japanese fighter pilot that's included. And let me tell you that this is by far my favorite pilot figure that, they've, that I have so far. 360 printed. Uh, has that harness the Japanese pilots would wear. Really awesome. You got the Japanese flag over here, some sort of insignia. You can see it's printed even behind the legs, which is absolutely awesome. You can't see in here because of my camera, I'm sorry about that, but uh, you got the Brick Mania logo and Landon name over there. And it comes with this uh, Brick Warrior uh, pilot helmet, which is Absolutely awesome, looks perfect, fits right on. 
awesome, awesome figure for an awesome, awesome queen. Now, let me tell you, it is, it is quite hard to get this guy into the plane. Um, so let me just do that real quick. Um, when you're building this in the kit, you will build this with the pilot in it. I mean, he's built into the plane. First you put down the legs, and then you put down the rest of the guy there. But you know, some things have to be compromised. And yes, it is, like always, a hassle to put these guys in here. But I mean, it is what it is, you know? For the scale and everything, I think it's perfectly fine. Let me just put his hands down. And we have to build around him, like I said. That's perfectly fine. There we go. I'm gonna pop this up. And they use these uh, little, what are these? Clips as the sides of the canopy. So you have to like watch out and line them up. And yeah, as you can see, the wheels fell off and that's what I'm gonna get into right now. The floss with the, this airplane. My biggest gripe, as per usual, again, the landing gear. This one is built differently. Thankfully, thankfully, they didn't use the ball joints to couple them up to the to the wings. These are the ratcheted hinges, so that works just fine. And now you see what the problem is. These parts fall off a lot, and the wheels especially. And once you set this plane down, they're almost guaranteed to pop off. Which is too bad, but you know what? It's fine. Um, any other issues? Again, you have to align these, so it's kind of hard. The pilot is kind of hard to take out, in and out. Uh, the prop sometimes gets a little stuck. Oh, I got a good spin there, but sometimes you have to like play around with how they fit in there, so it doesn't get stuck. Overall, I think this is probably the best bank for your buck. For $175, you get a lot more than you got with the BF109, in my opinion. And compared to the $215 that I paid for the Spitfire, this is a much better value. It's another front view there. You got you flying. As you can see, the girls are awesome. It's not looking like a, it's coming straight at you. I think that's really good. Oh, then the machine it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you know how I can improve my reviews or everything, just leave it down in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Check out my other reviews, and I'll keep doing some more of these. Yeah, thanks for watching.